Hello everyone, welcome back to our company YouTube channel. In today's video, I will teach you how to issue an e-freeze invoice or receipt, whatever the case might be. So let's get started without wasting much time. Of course, I'll go into my Chrome and uh, Google search. I'll type in ifreeze.ura.ugi.co. So once I tap on it, I'll uh, press enter. So once I'm done with that, uh, I'll come here. Uh, there is is uh, a freeze login eh? so as you can see it will take me direct to log into a freeze so i'll type in my uh, tin number plus the password then after i'm done with that i will say login once i'm done with that i come here where you see email then i say send otp so uh that otp will go direct in your email the email you gave you are a a so you cross check in that email then you will ex extract your otp and then you feed it in eh? here here as you can see so i'll feed mine in so once i'm done with that i'll tap on login so as you can see it will come up with such a page now you come here under under physical document management eh? so are you seeing where there is a receipt slash invoices then you'll come here where there is issue so i'll click on issue so once you click on issue it will come up this will appear actually uh so section a to talk about the seller's information of course that is uh your information you the person issuing yeah so i would say uh this is our company name uh our currency is in ugx then the operator here i'll type in accounts yeah? the person operating or you can say accountant whatever the case might be or your personal name then i'll come under section b when i'm done with this where you see these uh red spots yeah? to ensure that that information is fed in well fed in so i'll come under section b where they talk of the buyers details so under the buyer's details you'll enter of course uh, as you can see uh, the buyer can be a business a consumer a government or friend so you will need actually to enter at least one of these eh? you see if i attempt like uh, i attempt to go on the next page eh? it will not accept actually it will bring this paper prompt it says it's mandatory to input at least one of the following information either the name business registration number or team so you have to enter information here you can't just select either a consumer or business or government minus at least entering one of these name legal name team at least you should enter one so in this scenario i'll enter the team the person we are selling to so i will enter that person is team so once i'm done i will type in this like i'll click anywhere in the space and then that person is information will appear here to talk over is the, the whatever is the buyer or seller in unresident i can say no then sell by auction i will still say no so having entered all that information i'll click on next so when i click on next it will take me to section c where they talk of goods and services actually what are we selling to this person in this situation uh this person actually our company deals in fuel so we are selling fuel to this person and then i will select the items from here of course maybe to tell you brief these are items already configured at our end we will organize and then i will show you how to configure items or goods and services into ifris but in this case i'm teaching you how to issue an ifris invoice or you let me know on the under comments section which areas actually to talk about in a freeze the ones you would love me to talk about so this since these items are already configured in system i will search so as you can see we have our pms then i go now i will select the product so in this uh situation this person took uh took ago or diesel eh? so i will come here i select my ago sorry what yeah my ago so when i select my ago i will say confirm that is ago then i go uh i will enter the quantity or the number of liters this person took of course here we are started it has now these are uh, unit price you can modify it though when you are configuring these items you enter actually you are supposed to enter the selling price eh? so of course uh times there uh, are discounts what what then also sometimes as you know uh when you are in uh, a fuel business eh? the prices at times tend to vary so you have room for ad adjusting these what these prices so in this situation this uh, fuel will sold that for 
500. So once I'm done with that, I will say save. So when I save, of course, it will show you here that you are trying to sell uh, 30 liters of uh, agro or diesel at 4,500. So the total sum will be 135,000. Now you come here under remarks, you can put anything you want. So me, I will enter it as being, being sell, sell of agro. Then once I'm done with that, once I'm done with that, you can put anything you want. Eh? I'll go under, under section D. Eh? So they will say payment mode. Now under payment mode, or payment details here there is that option of uh, credit cash check so which mode did this person use so in this situation uh this person we sold to him on credit so i will select credit okay we did not receive these monies in the form of cash so this was a credit sale now having done that uh i'll come under section e where it talks about the summary so as you can see, the total summary is 135,000. So before like, uh, before you, you, you generate this receipt, there is always room of previewing. So I will preview to see if what I've entered is the rightful information. Yeah? So as you can see, I'll confirm under section A where it talks about the seller's details. Yes, the information is okay. Then I'll come under section B. Of course, uh, it's also fine. Then the buyer's details, uh -huh. it's also fine. That is the person we are selling to. Then also I'll confirm the number of uh, liters we are selling or the quantity, which is 30. Then price, which is 45. And then the total amount, which is 135,000. So uh, section E to now summarize it all. Of course, I've confirmed this is the rightful information. So uh, when you've confirmed, you go back, you go back, you go back. Then are you seeing here what there is? Generate receipt. Eh? So you tap on it and then it will tell you, you've selected currency as UGX. Your receipt gross amount is 135,000. Are you sure you want to generate? Then you will say, okay. So for today, I will stop there. But for you proceed and say, okay. But me, I will stop there for today. Then now next video, I'll teach you how to configure items in IFRIS. Kindly also inform those friends who are interested in learning IFRIS to follow to follow us up on all our social media platforms. That is uh, TikTok, uh, YouTube, LinkedIn. So inform them. Eh? Otherwise, have a good day. Thank you.